Have you ever noticed that your dollar doesn't buy as much at the grocery stores that used to say 20, 30 like years ago and things along those lines? Well, inflation has something to do with that, but it's also the devaluing of the United States' currency, the U.S. dollar. And as goods go up, your dollar is worth less, which is devaluing the dollar all the way around. And as debts go up across our country and across our trading partners, who we owe look buddy to, our dollar will continue to get devalued. Welcome back to Geonic Exploration and Discovery, everybody. Today, we're exploring a critical issue affecting your wallet and your financial future, the declining value of the U.S. dollar, something that pretty soon will be a worthless piece of paper the, the way it's declining and you'll be using it to start fires in your fireplaces here before long because you won't be able to afford to keep the lights on because there will be no money since 1913 the dollar has lost over 95 percent of its purchasing power they should examine the key events contributing to this decline the federal reserve creation gold standard abandonment inflationary policies and trade deficits the more money you print the less valuable it is because there's way more of it. When our money stopped being backed by gold, that just goes without saying there's nothing backing it. The only thing backing it is the word of the U.S. government. Inflationary practices, or policies, I should say, practices, policies, the inflationary stuff, companies get greedy, they want to drop the cost of the product, which then devalues the dollar because you're not able to buy as much. And big corporations produce so many goods, it's hard to really avoid doing business with them entirely. And trade deficits, whenever you put tariffs on countries, they're going to put tariffs on you too, which is drives the price of goods up, which then again devalues the U.S. dollar. Inflation and money printing. Excessive money printing and inflation have diluted the dollar's value. The consequences are reduced purchasing power, increased prices, decreased savings value, and uncertainty across the United States. And it really is. And with other countries vowing to ditch the dollar here and go with China and Russia's new currency that they're trying to get going, 50 countries are expected to ditch the United States' dollar, which will just be devastating, and that will be it for the dollar if it does not crash before then. And it will be replaced by a another currency it'll be just like germany during the second world war whenever we forced them to pay for everything so they've started printing money to try to pay off all their war debts and then they crashed their own currency and it took them a while to recover there was kids playing within the street as confetti a will borrow of their money wouldn't even buy them a loaf of bread at the grocery store that's how bad it got for germany and that's the same direction that we're heading and the u.s dollar is done guys it will crash at some point. All currencies do. All currencies will be replaced eventually with something else because all currencies cannot sustain. It's a good thing at the time, but then as it continues to get weaker and weaker, populations grow, more money is printed because of the population growth, and everything else in between, your dollar is going to continue to go down in value, and then you have to replace it with something that there's less of and harder to get, so then it's worth more in the end now global reserve currency and status the dollar status as a global reserve currency is diminishing alternative currencies and assets are gaining traction the euro the yen gold and cryptocurrencies the problem with cryptocurrencies is they're well they're crypto so they can be hacked extremely easily gold is good but gold is extremely heavy so unless if you have warehouses of forklifts and around the clock security to move it then you're better off investing in other assets. And the other thing is, too, gold takes up a lot of space if you're buying it in huge amounts for your money. However, though, after any collapses or anything, gold has been shown to hold its value. Gold, silver, other precious metals. But again, they take up so much space, so it's hard to really understand that. The impact on everyday life. The declining dollar has affected a lot of Americans here with higher living costs, reduced savings, increased debt, and financial insecurity. People don't hardly know if they can pay their bills anymore, and that's just a result of the dollar losing its value more and more. Diversify your portfolio, guys, if you're going to do any investing. You should be investing in precious metals, 
cryptocurrencies, I advise that you really pay attention to what you're doing. A lot of scam cryptocurrencies out there. There's been a lot of big time names. Tom Brady, along with some other people. Kevin Bacon and everybody else in between has been scammed by cryptocurrencies and faulty investments. And then they lost millions and millions of dollars. And you won't have that much in there, but what you invest will be the equivalent to what they invested. If you have thousands and you put thousands in, guys, an average person just can't recover from that. Even if you just put two or three thousand in there, a lot of people, that's, they don't have two or three thousand dollars to spare a year by the time they get done. Inflation indexed instruments. You have to be careful with what you're doing. And putting stuff in savings bonds and stuff, they just take too long, guys. Five years, ten year savings bonds, cities that pay interest. Problem is, is there is no hedge against inflation. Really, asset buying is all that you really have. Buy properties, buy land, buy those precious metals. Those are your best assets that you can buy and try to get paid off and own so that way you have something. That's what business people do. That's what your multimillionaires do. That's what your billionaires do. They own houses. They own things that give them value. They don't actually have cash because cash, they say cash is king, but cash is actually bad because it sits there and it just continues to lose value. If you're holding on to cash right now and you're safe and your wallet or anything i mean obviously keep some on hand to spend if you're going to go out to eat if you're going to do this and that that's fine but if you're holding on to tens of thousands of dollars and stuff in your safe find a way to invest it guys that's really just the way it is i mean unless if you already have millions invested and in, that is like you're spending money but guys find ways to invest it the dollar's value decline is a pressing concern educate yourself adapt and secure your financial future Guys, share your thoughts on this in the comments down below. We would love to hear from you guys. And guys, whatever happens, we're in this together. And that's something that everybody seems to forget. So, dollar collapses, communities come together and help each other out. That's going to be hard in the beginning, but that's the only way that you're going to make it through. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with John Exploration and Discovery. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Thank you for watching GNR Exploration and Discovery.